now statistical decision analysis okay now in this video we'll talk about decision making under risk now in this presentation we discuss about the statistical decision analysis where we use basic probabilities as tool to make on various instances of decision stages decision tree p of table are the basic models to help take decision now statistical decision analysis is a decision theory based on statistical information it is concerned with determining which decision or from a set of possible decision is the best now components of decision making the components of decision making are as follows the available choice or it is also called alternatives acts actions strategies for a problem situation all possible choices or courses of actions should be included next is the states of nature it is also called outcomes events or future events developing an exhaustive list of possible future events which are not under the control of the decision maker the payoff it is the effectiveness needed for each combination of decision alternative and stage of nature now classification of decision analysis models four types of knowledge with respect to outcomes are as follows certainty certainty situation exists when information is sufficient to predict the results of each alternative or complete and accurate knowledge of outcome of each alternative exists in advance of implementation there is only one outcome for each alternative certainly is the ideal problem solving and decision making environment next is risk in this situation multiple possible outcomes for each alternative and a probability can be assigned to each course of action now the probability of occurrence of each state of nature is known in this case now probabilities can be assigned through statistical procedures or personal intuition uncertainty multiple outcomes for each alternative exist and a probability cannot be assigned to each course of action the probability of occurrence of each state of nature is not known decision makers have very less information that they cannot given assign probabilities to various alternatives and possible outcomes uncertainty forces decision makers to rely on individual and group creativity to succeed in problem solving next is game theory it is also called decision making under conflict game theory provides a structure for analyzing competitive situations in which the competitors make use of logical processes and techniques in order to determine an optimal strategy for winning now decision making under risk there are certain types of decision problems where there can be more than one outcomes and it is possible to assign a probability value for each outcome in this situation there exist multiple possible outcomes for each alternative and a probability can be assigned to each course of action here the probability of occurrence of each state of nature is known probabilities can be assigned through objective statistical procedures or personal intuition okay now we should know what is payoff table a payoff table shows the relationship between the states of nature or it is also called all possible outcomes or rows all possible course of action or columns and the value associated with these it is a listing of all possible combinations of decision alternatives and states of nature now example a sweet vendor has to decide how many sweets of a particular type to pre prepare on a given day using the last year data as shown in table now consumption per day so one uh, number of days so total days 365 and consumption per day 50 so total num number of days 60 okay consumptions per day 100 total number of days 
consumption per day it is 150 total number of days 120 and consumption per day is 200 total number of days it is 35. Now construct P of table. Solution the total consumption or demand per day is uncertain. He analyzed the past demand and found the pattern of demand distribution based on one year as follows. Now we can say consumptions per day it is 50, 100, 150, 200 and the total and the number of days so 50 per day it is 60, 100 per day it is 150, 150 per day it is 120 days total and 200 per day it is 35 days so total is what 365 okay so so total is 365 if you add all this okay and we can get the probability so 60 divided by 365 total over there it is 0 0.1644 150 by 365 is equal to 0 0.4110 so in this way we can get the probability of these consumptions and if you add all this we can get one okay now sweet not sold on any day rotten and have to be thrown out selling price is rupees 20 per sweet and cost of preparation is rupees 15 per sweet the sweet vendor has to decide as to how many sweets per day should be prepared construction of payoff table the alternatives are whether to prepare 50 100 150 or 200 sweets for each alternative the demand could be 50 or 100 or 150 or 200 sweets now profit per suite is selling price minus preparation cost so it is 20 minus 15 so answer is 5 rupees suite not consumed on the same day will incur a loss of rupees 15 per suite okay so the profit is 5 rupees but if it is not sell then the loss is 15 rupees the construction of the payoff table is as follows now for example you now in a uh, few cases are there in case one if the preparation of the suite is 50 and the consumption is also 50 so uh, then the profit will be 50 into 5 that is 250 okay we can see uh, in this case you can see construction of payoff table the construction of payoff table is as follows now in case one if the preparation of the suite is 50 okay and the consumption is also 50 that is second column and second column and third row second column and third row this one so then the profit of the profit will be rupees 50 into 5 is equal to rupees 250 once again we can say if the demand is more than 50 if the demand is more than 50 means 100 150 200 but and the preparation is 50 and the preparation is 50 then also the profit will be 250 and you have lost the opportunity to make a profit of more than rupees 250 so you have prepared 50 but the demand is 100 so definitely your profit will be only 250 not more than 250 and here also 250 here also 250 because all you have only prepared 50 suites but the demand is more you have not fulfilled the demand now we can say in case 3 if the if you prepare 100 suites if you prepare 100 suites and the consumption is 50 and the consumption is 50 that is third column third row that means this one uh, then the uh, 50 then we can sell only 50 because the demand is 50 the profit in this case is rupees 250 okay the profit is 250 and excess 50 will incur a loss of 50 into 15 that is rupees 750 so the profit is you have prepared 100 suits but consumption is what 50 so the profit will be what 15 to uh, uh, 50 into 5 uh, you can say 15 to 5 it is 250 and excess 50 that is the loss of so 15 to 15 so the preparation cost it is 750 so the cross profit is 250 minus 750 the answer is what minus 500 so in this way so that is that's why it is minus 500 so in this way we can fill the remaining data in the payoff table now you can see the second example so if you have prepared 100 suites and the consumption is 100 once again 100 so what will be the pro, uh, profit so 100 100 into 5 it is 500 now in the next row you have prepared 100 sweets but the demand is 150 so definitely 
the uh, profit will also one 500 and you have lost opportunity to profit uh, to make more, more more profit If the probabilities regarding the states of the nature are available, we can select the best alternative by expecting monetary value. So, so we have to calculate the expected monetary value or it is called in short it is called EMV. Now P of, of each state of nature into probabilities of the respective states of nature or we can say optimal EMV that is maximum of the EMVs of all decision alternatives. Now how to calculate the expected monetary value or EMB? For example, assume that assume the sweets maker prepare 100 sweets. 100 sweets. The EMB corresponding to prepare the 100 sweets is 0. So these are the probabilities. So 0 0.164 into minus 500 into minus 500 plus 0 0.4411. These are the probabilities already we have identified into 500 plus 3.3.2219 into 500 plus 0 0.96 0 .0, 0 0.096 into 500 okay and the answer is 336 so the remaining EVMs are also calculated similarly so the maximum EMB is what 336 so maximum EMB is what it is 336 it is optimal EMB occurs when the sweet maker prepare 100 sweets Therefore, the sweet maker should prepare 100 sweets. So we have to calculate all this. We have to calculate all this. So how to calculate this one? So we have to multiply this with the probability plus this with the probability plus this with the probability plus this with the probability. And if you add all this calculation, the answer is what? Minus 643. So, so out of this, maximum value is what 336 therefore the sweet maker should prepare 100 sweets now expected profit with perfect information if the sweet maker knows that the consumption of the sweets are 50 and he or she prepare 50 sweets then this gives the highest pro pro highest pay of rupees 250 similarly if the consumption of the sweet are 100 and he or she prepares 100 sweets then the pay of rupees 500 which is maximum. Likewise, if the consumptions are 150 and 200, then the maximum fee of rupees revenue is 750 and rupees 1000 respectively. The calculation of EPPI is as follows. So, maximum fee of 250, 500, 750 and 1000 and the probabilities, these are the probabilities. So, how to calculate EPPI? Maximum P of each yield alternative, maximum P of each alternative and probability of consumption and the probability of consumptions. So, if you calculate this one, we can get the answer 589.25. So, the EPPI value is 589.25. Expected value of the perfect information, EVPI. Through EVPI, we can decide whether we can gather more information for a decision or without delay make decision now so EVPI is equal to EPPI minus optimum EMB so in this example EVPI is 589.25 minus 336 so 58.25 is nothing but EVPI and 336 nothing but our optimum EVMB so the answer is 253.25 that is we cannot pay more than rupees 253.25 as additional cost for gathering additional information. Now expected opportunity loss. Opportunity lost, loss represents the amount of profit that is lost because the most profitable course of action is not taken. For example, assume we prepare 100 sweets but the demand is 50, then the sweets, then the excess of 50 sweets for which we incur a loss of rupees 50 into 15 that is rupees 750. If the demand is 100, then the loss is rupees 0. If the demand is 150, then we have lost an opportunity of making an additional profit of rupees 15 to 5.
that is 250. Similarly, if the demand is 200, then we have lost an opportunity of making an additional profit of rupees 100 into 5, that is 2500. In this way, we can construct opportunity loss table as shown in table. Now, calculation of expected opportunity loss. Okay, so we have to, uh, we can, how to get this one? So, uh, consumptions of sweets, these are the consumptions of sweets. <coughs> these are the opportunity we have lost. These are the opportunity we have lost. Okay, and if you multiply this, all this, and if you add, we can get answer. The best decision is to stock 100 sweets because EOL is 253.42 which is minimum and minimum AOL decision tallies with maximum EMB decision. Now decision making under risk using R. So we have to install the package decision and we have to call the package decision and these are the consumptions and the preparations and these are the probabilities. Okay and this is the selling price and this is the preparation price and this is the payoff table okay and this is the expected monetary value the maximum optimum expected monetary values are 336 the expected profit with perfect information is what 589.25 and expected value of the perfect information EVP is 253.25 and the opportunity loss table the opportunity loss table this is the opportunity loss table and the ME, MEMV is what 336 best value is over 100 EPPI is what 589.25, EVPI is 253.25 and EOL is also 253.25. Now Laplace decision rule equal probability theory. If probabilities are not known then Laplace decision rule assumes that the probabilities of different states of nature for a given strategy are all equal. Considering these equal probabilities the expected payoff will be calculated as per the method above and then the strategy with the largest expected P of is selected. And that is the end of this video. Thank you very much.